And Paul, we enjoyed it while it lasted, but now <laughs> the heat is coming back. It is, but still a couple days away, so you get a couple more days to get out there and enjoy the pleasant temperatures, and things aren't going to warm up that much around the bay. Let's take a look at the big picture perspective right now. The upper level low that's been dominating our weather pattern, still just stuck, spinning away off the coast. That's been keeping temperatures near normal around the bay and along the coast, with below average readings farther inland. Unfortunately, it's also been sparking some thunderstorms in northern California, northwestern Nevada up into Oregon and that of course has the potential to start more fires in the just as dry spots as we are around the Bay Area farther north in California and up into Oregon. That's something we'll keep an eye on over the next few days. Hopefully nothing grows too much. Was this is still stuck in place, our temperatures have remained pleasant for this time of year. That marine layer nice and deep, three, 4,000 feet deep in the early morning hours, and the clouds are already swallowing up Sutro Tower. It did warm up a little more in Fairfield, up to 85 degrees today, but upper 70s in Concord and San Jose, not bad at all. 71 Fremont with upper 60s in the city and at Half Moon Bay. Current temperatures are mostly in the 70s. It's still 81 in Fairfield, down to 69 in Oakland, and 68 degrees in Hayward. 71 at SFO, but downtown the temperature is 60. 65 degrees, and there is a noticeable breeze out there right now. Nothing too strong. The strongest sustained wind in Fairfield at 21 miles an hour. Those winds will relax as we head through the rest of tonight, and the fog and low cloud cover are going to spread out. The past couple of nights, it's been more cloud cover than fog actually sitting at ground level. I think those cloud bases are going to be a little lower by tomorrow morning, so more fog on the map. But the same pattern is going to repeat itself with that fog and low cloud cover backing up to around the bay by 9, 10 o'clock in the morning. Plenty of sunshine inland. But then that fog backs all the way up towards the coast as we head towards midday, and that's when temperatures are going to start to warm up. We'll start off mostly in the mid to upper 50s tomorrow morning, the coolest spots in the North Bay Valleys dropping down into the low 50s, and then we'll warm up only to the mid 60s in San Francisco. A couple degrees cooler than today, that onshore breeze kicking in by early afternoon and dropping temperatures off by this point, what, Thursday evening, almost called it Wednesday, but hey, today's Wednesday, we're halfway there. Santa Rosa reaching up into the low 70s for highs tomorrow afternoon after a cool start with some of that fog lingering into the mid to late morning hours. Temperatures in Concord reaching a couple degrees warmer than today, up to around 80 degrees by late tomorrow afternoon and then dropping off during the evening in San Jose back up into the upper half of the 70s, topping out right around 77 degrees. We'll fill in the rest of the map, low 60s, along the coast with temperatures a mix of 70s and 80s farther inland, mostly mid to upper 60s right around the bay. With below average temperatures, the fire danger tomorrow isn't going to be nearly what it can be this time of year. Our fire danger index from 0 to 10. Well, today, the highest values inland in the East Bay and the North Bay of around 3 or 4. That's about where it's going to top out again tomorrow. So while the fire danger isn't going to be 0, at least we're lower than the halfway point on our fire danger index scale. We're going to climb a little bit on Friday. Temperatures inland are going to warm up a few degrees so you see a few more yellow spots indicating where we get that elevated fire threat of anything gets started it can spread a bit faster mainly for Solano County and Eastern Contra Costa and Alameda counties that's going to spread out even more as we head into a hot weekend inland but not stupid hot like last weekend when temperatures up into the triple digits farther inland 90s are going to stick around through at least the first half of next week while around the bay Pretty close to normal temperatures, near 70 over the weekend, maybe a few degrees warmer by Tuesday and Wednesday. Along the coast, not much change at all, staying in the lower half of the 60s through the beginning of next week.